Welcome to the third video of our series, where we are going to firstly run a number of 1D analyses against some of the eight geometric datasets to ensure that the 1D model is well calibrated. Secondly, generate and calculate a new 3D design verification model with the presumed optimum monopile geometry. And lastly, compare the results between the 1D and 3D models with the optimum monopile geometry to verify the final design. We start in analysis mode, where we see in the depth variation functions section the file calibrated.dvf that was created and saved during calibration. In the monopile geometry section, we enter the values of the geometric parameters, such as the height above the ground level H, the embedded length L, and the diameter D that correspond to the first geometry dataset. And in the workload section, we enter a value of 3200 kN for the horizontal force. This value should equal or exceed the maximum reached lateral reaction force of the Plaxis 3D model, which corresponds to the first geometry dataset. After that, we can define our soil layers, which in our case is a uniform layer of 50 meters. We can then add a pile segment by clicking the Add button on the Thickness Variation tab. We then enter the thickness value, T, that corresponds to the first geometry dataset. Next to the Thickness Variation tab, there is an Expert Settings tab, where we are going to leave it as it is and use the default values. After we have finished with the definition of the parameters, we can click on the Calculate button to start the 1D analysis. As you can see, the 1D calculation takes only a few seconds. Once the 1D calculation is completed, a green check mark appears to indicate a successful calculation. With the calculation, the program generates parameterized and normalized solid reaction curves for intervals of half a meter. It also generates the shaft and base variation functions based on the imported DVF file. Once we have run the 1D analysis, we can generate our 3D design verification model by pressing the Generate button. Plaxis will automatically generate the soil layers and sublayers as specified in the soil layers tab and the soil reaction curves files. It will also generate the structure based on the settings of the monopile geometry and the pile segments defined in the thickness variation. When we press the calculate button, Plaxis will calculate all three phases and extract the raw soil reaction curves and the data displayed in the results mode. The 3D design verification module makes use of Plaxis 3D to generate and run a 3D model that replicates the conditions of the 1D analysis. Both models are generated using the same input, which includes soil layers and material parameters of each sublayer, monopile geometry including thickness variation per segment, structural properties and workload. This enables the comparison of the results between the 3D model and the 1D model. The next step in our workflow is to compare and verify our results. To do that, we proceed to Results mode and then select the Design Verification checkbox. We can now compare the results of the 1D and the selected 3D model by inspecting the horizontal force to lateral displacement graph at Madline. The high values of the accuracy symmetric eta indicates that the calibration of the 1D model was done successfully via the parameterization procedure. We may also compare the response of the 1D and 3D models by inspecting the remaining graphs. By default, for the 1D analysis, the target lateral displacement at ground level equals to 0.1D, which is, in our case, half a meter. The accuracy metric eta is calculated based on that value. The two accuracy metrics eta and rho are indicators of the goodness of fit between the results of the 1D analysis and the selected 3D model. These metrics are displayed only if a 3D model is selected and only for the lateral load displacement result type. The values are shown in percentage and are visible at the top of the graph. On the one hand, 
The accuracy metric eta is calculated as the ratio of areas under the result curves up to a specific lateral displacement threshold. On the other hand, the accuracy metric rho is calculated as the ratio of the horizontal force predicted by the 1D model over the force predicted by the 3D model. The closer the eta and rho values are to unity, the closer the 1D analysis results are compared to the 3D model results. We can export the values for these curves by opening the table tab. Here we can find the results of the corresponding lateral load displacement curves for the 1D analysis and the 3D model. In our next video, we are going to compare the results between the 1D and 3D models with the optimum monopile geometry to verify our final design.